What's the difference between a NUC, a barebone and a mini PC? Hello everyone, and welcome to this video. Today, we're going to talk about three types of PC, NUX, barebones and mini PCs. We'll find out what they are, what their differences are, and what their advantages and disadvantages are. Let's get started. NUX, or next unit of computing, are small, compact, standalone computers. They are manufactured by Intel and are designed for use in small spaces or as specific computing solutions. NUX are often equipped with Intel Core processors, RAM memory, storage with an SSD hard disk, and input and output ports such as USB, HDMI and so on. The main difference between a NUC and a conventional PC is their size. NUX are extremely compact, making them ideal for use in environments where space is limited. For example, they can be mounted behind a monitor or TV. NUX offer several advantages over traditional PCs. Firstly, their small size makes them easy to transport and install. What's more, they generally consume less energy, making them more economical solutions. Finally, NUX are often equipped with powerful components, enabling them to perform common computing tasks smoothly. However, NUX also have a few drawbacks. Given their small size, it can be difficult to upgrade or replace certain components. What's more, their small size generally limits the number of expansion ports available, which can be problematic if you need to connect several peripherals. Of course, you can always add a USB hub if necessary. Let's move on to bare bones. Bare bones are personal computer kits that generally include the computer case, motherboard and power supply. They sometimes include the processor. The user must then add the missing components, such as RAM and hard disk storage. In some cases, the processor must also be added. It's worth noting that bare bones aren't particularly small. They can be conventional in size, like the desktop towers we know from our PCs, but in recent years they've tended to be the size of mini PCs. Bare bones offer several interesting advantages. Firstly, they allow complete customization of the PC to the user's specific needs. Secondly, you only buy the components you really need. What's more, bare bones are generally easier to upgrade, as you have total control over the internal components, as long as they remain compatible with the format of these small PCs. However, bare bones also have a few drawbacks. First of all, they require a certain amount of technical knowledge to assemble correctly. If you're not comfortable with PC assembly, this can be a challenge. What's more, the absence of certain components in the bare bones kit means you'll have to buy them separately, which may require additional research and increase the total cost. Note also that most of the time, the operating system is not supplied or installed. Finally, let's talk about mini PCs. Mini PCs are small computers, like NUX. They integrate all the necessary components in a single, compact case. They are generally pre-assembled and ready to use straight out of the box. The main difference between an NUC and a mini PC is that NUC is an Intel-specific term, while mini PC is a more generic term used to describe small computers from different manufacturers. Mini PCs can include a variety of hardware configurations and features, depending on the manufacturer and the specific model. They may be based on different processors, such as Intel, or AMD. They can offer more extensive customization options. In short, a NUC is a specific type of mini PC developed by Intel, while the term mini PC encompasses a wider range of compact computers from different manufacturers. The main difference between a mini PC and a conventional PC is obviously size. Mini PCs are designed to be as small as possible, while still offering high performance. Mini PCs offer several advantages. Firstly, their compact size makes them ideal for use in confined spaces or as multimedia systems for streaming. What's more, they're generally easy to install and don't require in-depth technical knowledge. They're basically PCs in a more compact version. Finally, mini PCs consume less energy than traditional PCs, making them more economical. However, Mini PCs also have a few drawbacks. Because of their small size, they can be more difficult to upgrade or repair. Also, due to their compact design, Mini PCs can have limited connectivity options, 
which can be a drawback if you need lots of input-output ports. So here's an overview of NUX, barebones and mini PCs, and their differences, advantages and disadvantages compared to a conventional PC. Each of these systems offers unique functionalities and is suitable for different use cases. It's up to you to choose the one that best meets your specific needs. There's no single brand that's considered the best for purchasing a mini PC, as this depends on the individual needs and preferences of each user. However, here are six popular and reputable brands in the mini PC field. Intel. This is the creator of Nux. Their products are often well designed and offer good performance. Asus. Asus is known for its high quality computer products, and they also offer a range of mini PCs. Their models generally offer good performance and reliability. Gigabyte. Gigabyte is a well-known manufacturer of computer components, and they also offer mini PCs. Their products are often appreciated for their build quality and solid performance. Zotac. Zotac specializes in mini PCs and offers a wide range of models to suit different needs, from entry-level options to high-end models for gaming and resource-intensive tasks. HP. HP is a well-established computer brand, and they also offer mini PCs. Their products often offer a good balance between performance and functionality. Minis Forum. Minis Forum also offers a wide range of mini PCs, with both Intel and AMD processors. It's a good idea to thoroughly research the specifications, performance, user reviews and warranties offered by the various brands before making a purchasing decision. This will enable you to choose the brand that best suits your specific needs and budget. I hope you found this video useful and informative. I've added a few links to references from different stores in the description. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments below. Thank you for your attention and see you soon.